What's up, everybody? This is the one, aka Jodeci Dion on YouTube, and I'm bringing you another episode out from the side of my neck. Today, I'm going to talk about YouTube fanboy wars, and yes, it's exactly what it is: fanboys on YouTube fighting over video games. I'm not here to condemn them for what they're doing because in a way what I'm doing is a version of it. But I'm more of a reporter. My videos are just here to report the news from the perspective of a fanboy. But what we have here are all the fanboys of the video game consoles attacking each other through videos on YouTube. Where one group posts a video, the other group will troll their video or attack it for the sole purpose of discrediting any information their first group posted. And all this does is turn the video into he said, he said. And it goes back and forth, it never stops. And then the subscribers of the poster joins in, and next thing you know, instead of an intellectual discussion on video games, you have a whole bunch of dumbasses sitting around calling each other fad and calling each other stupid. So, I think we really need to discuss this. More importantly, I think we need to discuss the Weez fan position in this matter. If you're going to join in, make sure you're fighting on the right side. And attacking the people who deserve it. As you all know, YouTube can be used for many purposes. Some use it to entertain, some use it to share knowledge. And we are trying to do what I'm doing, what others are currently doing. You gotta do something to stand out so you can become the next movie Bob or one of those other big YouTubers with all the subscribers. Because that's the reason we do it, for the subscribers. The hope that one day we too will be on X Play or Attack of the Show. When making your video, there's many ways to do that. Some just like to get the webcam and post footage of them talking in front of it. Others, like myself, we want to be creative but don't have all the equipment we need. So we'll do something like I'm currently doing with pictures and voiceovers. And then there's the ones who have all the equipment, who have the spectacular professional looking videos with all the special effects and movie magic. The more charm you have and the more charisma you possess helps out as well. There are some, like Mr. Shy City, who don't even show his face but still use the webcam approach. And because he's so charismatic, he can just steal the show by just talking. And then there are those who don't entertain you vocally, but have beautiful looking videos. So you subscribe to them because of the quality of their work. And if you're one of those YouTube directors who, in the words of hip hop, can't hold a mic, the only way you're going to get any recognition, you have to start a beat with one of the directors who is currently on top, who currently has all the subscribers and support of the YouTube nation. Well, the one, how did this all fits into, you know, fanboy wars? I mean, I don't see what you're talking about. I'll explain real quick. For a while on YouTube, PlayStation gamers have already had their group, their network. They've been on YouTube for a couple years now, posting their PS3 videos, talking about the glory that is the PS3. The same can be said for Xbox 360 owners. They've been posting their videos. They've been spreading their word about their system and why they're on top. And they've both been going at it for years now. We owners have finally jumped into the game. And they're joining the war. But the side they chose to ally with kind of surprised me. And that's what I want to talk about. We gamers have decided that they're going to back PS3 gamers in this war against 
360 fans. And even though I personally own a PS3 along with my three Wii's, I don't get it. It really don't make any sense to me. Even though I have caught hell from both sides when it comes to posting my Wii videos on YouTube. And even though I do own a PS3, if I was going to choose a side in this YouTube fanboy war, it would be with a 360. Okay, I know y'all like, man, Joe, you're a hypocrite and you're crazy. The PS3 is far superior than the 360. Why support them? Go with the winning side. Well, I'm going to explain to you why. You see, I care about Nintendo as a whole. The company, the games, and the system. And if I had to choose one side to help destroy the other side, it would be the 360. And the main reason, from a business standpoint, the 360 is no threat to Nintendo or their Wii. Not saying they're not going to outsell the Wii. I'm just saying from a business standpoint, the 360 and the Wii can coexist. Even though the 360 has great games, it only have particular kind of games. They're either sports or first person shooters. Something that are not that strong on the Nintendo Wii. So, the 360 in America can still sell its Hello at the same time that we can still sell its Mario. And the main factor is, the 360 cannot sell in foreign markets in Japan. It don't sell. It probably will never ever sell. So, even if the Wii and 360 are even in America, or if the 360 has a slight lead in America, the Wii could dominate and control Japan, which will keep Nintendo around. Finally, from a fanboy point of view, 360 fanboys are old Sega fanboys. They lost Sega and this company when Sony came in and took over. So now they moved on to Microsoft and their Xbox. And because of that, you honestly know where you stand with them. The rivalry Sega has with Nintendo goes back to the golden age of gaming. It was a respectable rivalry, but a rivalry nonetheless. Now Sony, what have they done to earn your trust? To earn your allegiance to their side of the war. The only reason there even is a PlayStation is because Sony is pissed off that Nintendo walked out of their Super NES CD ROM attachment agreement. And since the emergence of the PlayStation brand, Sony's sole purpose is to take over the game industry. They killed off Sega, and they've been trying to kill off Nintendo for the past 10 15 years. Sony is a Japanese owned company so they fight Nintendo on their home turf so Nintendo doesn't have the advantage it would have against Microsoft when it comes to sales Sony can match up on sales in every territory and let's not forget the copycat syndrome Sony seems to have when it comes to Nintendo's ideas if Nintendo does something Sony jacks it and then claims it for their own next from a business standpoint Sony's library games, which are more similar to Nintendo than Xbox is. Yes, they do have these sports games and their first person shooters, but they also have the mascot platformers that Nintendo has. They also have some of the developers that make the cool, great games, kind of like Zelda. Let's be honest here. Sony has wanted to become Nintendo ever since they released the PlayStation. Everything they've done in gaming is to pretty much erase Nintendo from the video game history book. So a year from now, when Sony released their motion control controller, who to say they won't release it with their version of Wii Sports and call it PS3 Sports or Sony Sports. They stole everything else, why not steal that? Finally, the majority of Sony fanboys used to be Nintendo fanboys. They jumped ship from the N64 GameCube era to what they call greener pastures. So do you really want to ally yourself with someone who's already stabbed you in the back? Choose your size wisely. This is the one. Peace.